Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And I know that we are starting off early this morning, a lot earlier than what I normally will start off. Uh, I got a busy, busy, busy day. Um, I'm actually in preparation for um, a wedding, so I'm about to go get my hair done. Uh, but let's get off into it because I, I wanted to get in. I wanted to make sure that I got this video out to you and I didn't want that early appointment to interfere with me getting out the content. So I came in early today to actually do the video. So you see, I ain't got no face on. I ain't got nothing on. I'm just, I'm here, but I'm here and I'm ready to work. So I hope you all are ready. So today's topic is to spit or to swallow. That is the question. Okay, so anybody that knows anything about uh, swallowing semen, we know that it comes with lots of health benefits, okay? A lot of times when customers come in the store, most people, it's kind of like, I can't get beyond the taste, but it's almost like tasting a medicine, something that you know is good for you, but you just don't like the way it tastes. Well, that's the same way semen is. It's something that is actually good for your body, but most times we don't like the way it tastes. Yes, it can lower your blood pressure. Yes, it can. Uh, studies show that it can prevent breast cancer. Yes, it can. Studies show that swallowing does help with anxiety. So there are so many health benefits. Um, you're getting protein. Um, all of these vitamins and minerals. Because what we have to understand is, when we were created, we were created with everything that we needed to be able to be, um, to, a lot of times when we were created, we were created with everything that we needed to be able to help one another. And it's, and it's so many health benefits that come along with swallowing. And I just think that over the time we've just learned to be grossed out by it, but it's actually not a bad thing. So if taste is your issue, Let's talk about it, okay? Now, there are a few, um, let me say this. Not every man can actually ejaculate. Some men experience what's called a dry orgasm, which means that they have the orgasm, but they don't actually ejaculate. Now, if that is the issue, a lot of times when you're dealing with people like that, it's really nothing to be concerned about unless you're trying to have children. If that's the case, then you need to go to the doctor. But most times when you go to the doctor because you're having dry orgasms, they'll let you know that it's more so of a nuisance than anything unless you're trying to actually have children. So let's jump into it. If taste is your issue, then we have something called yummy cummy. This is what yummy cummy looks like. It's four pills in a pack. People say, what exactly is Yummy Cummy? Yummy Cummy is a big major dose of zinc and all types of fruit. What do we know about zinc? Zinc helps build the immune system. Yes, it does. But is zinc and a bunch of dried fruit and with the combination of two, it alters the way the semen tastes. It's going to make his semen or your semen, if you decide to take this, um, it's going to make your semen really, really, really sweet. Okay? Really, really sweet. If he takes it, it's going to make his semen really, really, really sweet. Okay? So, I'm just going to read what it says. Um, it safely alters the flavor of intimate body fluids by adding a semi-sweet, fruity taste. That's what it does. Okay? Now, I'll be talking next week about Dirty 69 because uh, next week is my date night and that is my theme, Dirty 69. So you'll see me revisiting Yummy Cummy all over again. Now, suppose you are one of those people like me and when a man comes, if you're one of those ones that feel like, okay, th that was swallowing. But if you're one of those ones that feel like I want to spit, but I want to see like a lot of it come out like a volcano. Like when he's coming, I want it to look like it's erupting and I just want to be able to catch it in my mouth and spit it back out on him all over the place. I want to get real nasty and messy with it. Then you want to get something called Max Load. Max Load is going to make him produce so much cum. 
because it's actually gonna milk the nut sack. Now, people say, what exactly is milking a nut sack? Milking a nut sack is when he comes and it's coming from this deep, deep, deep place and he's literally emptying the nut sack. Yes, that's called milking it. So that is what Max Load is for. Max Load says, come harder, come longer, come more. Mm -hmm. And for my people who like to get super, super, super sloppy and who want to spit or swallow, you can get our blowjob bib. Now you might say, why are you doing all of these lives on oral sex and blowjobs? Because Steak and Blowjob Day is fastly approaching, which is March 14th. If you do not have it marked in your calendar, I need you to update your calendar right now with a reminder to let you know that Steak and Blowjob Day is on the way. And we want you to keep that same energy that he had for Valentine's Day. So, if you're in my group, you'll see all the little invitations and note cards. Go screenshot them. You should be sending text messages to him daily, getting him all excited and amped up about Steak and Blowjob Day. All right? As promised, I was going to um, give you different positions, different tricks, different techniques for oral sex. The ones that I, I picked today both have to do with music, but you're going to create the music. One is called the hummingbird. The hummingbird is basically you're going to add a vibrating effect with your mouth by humming your favorite song while you're giving him fellatio. So in other words, while you're sucking his dick, you're going to put it in your mouth and you're going to just start humming your favorite ballad. And I say ballad because like I'm a Anita Baker type of girl. Y'all know Anita gets it in. So if I'm on the dick and I'm... Yeah, I don't know how I need to do. I'm on the dick and I'm, I'm singing on the dick. You pick your favorite song and you get on that dick and you start humming and you get to singing on that dick. And it's called the hummingbird, okay? Um, the vibrations will drive him crazy with desire as you bring him to climax. And it's really good to put them nuts in your mouth and get the humming on them too. Now, we know we can't suck dick and forget about the nuts, okay? So I shouldn't have to tell y'all that because a lot of y'all vets. But sometimes I have to remind even my older students, if you ain't touching the balls, then you ain't sucking dick. We have to tend to them balls too and make sure you handle them very gently like you're handling two raw eggs, okay? All right. Then we have one called pucker up. Now, this is similar to the hummingbird, but you're going to actually purse your lips together tightly so that it makes him feel like he's penetrating your anus. And then I want you to start humming and moaning while you have him in your mouth and add a little throat vibrations, and that's going to bring him to climax as well. So we have the pucker up and we have the hummingbird, All right? So... For those of you all who have to work, that is going to conclude our sexual health and wellness portion of this live. We're going to move on into our questions and answers, okay? So, the first question is, because I have two, I'm not going to list the person's name, but this person says that I'm 25 years old and I have a love complication. Um... The person says, I'm deeply in love with this woman, but the woman that I'm in love with is walking out of my life and it is hard for me to deal with. I have been dealing with this lady since I was 19 years old. Yes, me and her have had bad times and yes, I have done her wrong and everything. But now that we have talked things out and we have tried like adults with our situation, she wants to walk out of my life and I'm just trying to be happy with her. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I have done her wrong a whole lot. And she has always been there for me. But now she's gone. So what can I do? Please, Miss Sharonda, help me because this shit hurts. Especially when you on your knuckles and you down and out and you really need your friend. Okay. Let me say this. Nobody wants to hear, we, nobody likes to hear the love story that just, it's all gone wrong. We Nobody likes it. We all love the happy ending, okay? 
But in real life, everybody don't get the happy ending. People are gifts. God gives us people as gifts. And the thing is, when he gives us people as gifts, we have to take care of the gifts that he gives us. When I was growing up, my grandmother told me even a dog get tired. Even a dog get tired. And when that dog get tired, eventually you keep on messing over it, it's going to bite you. Sweetheart, consider yourself bitten. This person, they, they give a damn's then gave out. And let me tell you something about a woman. When she done tried and tried and gave and you done messed up and messed up and you took her for granted, when her give a damn gives out, it ain't nothing you can do about it. You can try, you can plead, you can cry, you can try to fix it, but the thing is she done checked out mentally. So this is what you need to do. You need to free her. You need to allow her to go out and be happy because if you have been with this person, <clears throat> I don't, you say you're 25 now and you say you've been with this person since she was 19 and you have hurt them and you have just emotionally torn them down. Give this person an opportunity for healing because if you love them the way you say you love them, you're going to let them go, you're going to let them heal, and you're going to let them do what's best for their life. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all, I'm coughing. In the future, if you so happen to get a second time around, great. And if you don't, be okay with that too. Because the thing is, this person has given you the chance. They've given you the opportunity. And you didn't do what was right. So, and like the little children say, take your lick. Take your lick. That's my advice. Free her. Allow her to be happy. And you learn to be happy for her. In whatever direction she decides to go in her life. Because it seems like she didn't gave you opportunity and opportunity because you say you didn't did plenty wrong. So anything that goes on in life, there are going to be consequences. And sometimes people walking away. Sometimes everybody don't stay. Everybody ain't no ride or die. Everybody ain't going to stick it out and try to make it work and wait for you to change. Everybody ain't going to do that. And at this point, this person, this person, she didn't got her some sense. And she ain't doing it. Okay. She just ain't doing it. Next, this was sent to me. Moving on. After dating married men, do y'all still pray for a faithful husband or should I mind my business? Um, I'm interested in seeing what are your group's thoughts? What are your thoughts on this? Will you please repost or discuss? Okay. After dating a married man, no, I'm sorry, after dating married men, that, that implies more than one, do y'all still pray for a faithful husband or should I mind my business? I think you should mind your business. And I think that when we get on our knees and we pray, we should ask for everything that our heart desires. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm not one of them people that feel like, uh, you know how people be like, oh, all this karma, all this this and all this this. This, that, or whatever. God's grace is sufficient for everybody. Forgiveness is for everybody. And all that is required is for you to have a sincere heart. And for you to be willing to make certain changes. In other words, you ask for forgiveness and you move on. And you decide that you're going to allow God to send you your husband. He's going to send you your husband. I don't feel like you're going to get all of this other stuff that's going to come your way. And I, if that's the case, ain't none of us deserving of nothing. If that's the case. And that's just how I feel about it. I feel like this person should pray for whatever they want to pray for. And I feel like God will answer their prayer just like he answered yours. Now, the bigger question is, why are you so concerned about this person instead of being concerned about the married man who actually stood at the altar and made the commitment? That's who owes you the loyalty. Not these people who ain't stood at the altar and made no commitment. See, sometimes y'all be worried about the wrong thing. You ain't never got to be worried about the woman he dealing with. You worry about the one that you stood at the altar with. 
That's your concern. That's who you worry about getting karma. That's who you worry about getting all that's coming to them because they're the ones who made the commitment. Not this person right here. So with that being said, we have to learn to mind the business that pays us. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a video a couple of weeks ago called Minding My Business. Meaning when I say minding my business, I'm talking about the people in my household and the people who I'm responsible for and the people that I love. These, these, this side woman, outside woman, these women, they, what you care about what they got going on for? Mind your business. Okay? So, that's going to complete my live today. I'm about to get ready to go and get myself together for this wedding that I'm in. I'm this today going to be my first time ever getting a sew in because I always wear wigs. So, I'm about to go get a sew in. So, y'all pray for me because I'm tender headed. Y'all be blessed. The website is below. The Instagram is below and the cash app is below. If you want to send a tip, you all be blessed. You all be safe. Oh, I heard we're going into phase three today. Y'all be careful out there now. Be careful. All right. And go get your shot. They got too many places giving COVID shots. Go get your shot. You want to be out in the streets partying? Go protect yourself. All right. Be blessed.